Right, this is a quick walk around video for a Honda CRV. This is the 2.2 .2 EX diesel, a 62 plate car, you can see here with 58,000 miles recorded. Finished in passion red, a really lovely color on these cars. Just had one myself in this color with the high level rear spoiler, which really does add to the visual appeal of the car. Car's in really nice condition. Um, all the lights there you can see completely intact, no cracks, dents or otherwise on those, uh, no condensation in them. Bonnet is incredibly free of stone chipping. There's only one or two very, very, very minor ones on there, but really clean indeed. Near side of the vehicle, really nice order, really crisp in the panel work. Front wing is completely clean. Front near side alloy, really nice condition as well can't see any marks on there at all i think there's just a bit of dirt splash there we are on there front dunlop tire with loads of tread on it as well the panels are all really really nice and crisp on this side rear inside alloy again absolutely spot on no marks on there again another dunlop tire i'll just come around this side just to show you Again, just how crisp and nice that panel work actually is. I love this angle with the spoilers. It really does set these cars off. It's only a little thing, but really uh, a nice feature on them. Come around the back of the car, all very clean. No major marks or anything on there at all. Off side of the vehicle, again, really lovely and crisp on the panel work. Rear wing, rear bumper, absolutely unmarked. Rear alloy, really good again. Dunlop tire again, loads of tread on it. It's been through the workshops and we've measured all of them. They're all really, really good tires. It's a full set of Dunlops, the final ones are Dunlop as well. But all the panel works really nice. And then final alloy. This is the only one, it's got a couple of marks actually on the spokes of the wheels, which you may need to get done. I mean, that's the only exterior marks I can actually see on the car. Um, but I do point them out. They're not major and they can be done very, very cheaply indeed. But externally, a good looking car in really nice condition. So coming to the boot of the car, absolutely massive boot on these CRVs. You've also got a 60-40 fold in the rear seats, just pull a lever and they drop down. Um, tonneau cover, you can see there's all intact. With all the carpeted areas, all the plastics are in really, really nice order. And that isn't a given on these. You find a lot of them are used for um, quite sort of heavy use and they get sort of bashed about. But this has been kept in really, really nice order. And underneath here, you've got your space saver wheel. So you do get a tire on the CRVs, not an inflation kit. Uh, all the tools and wheel brace are all there and intact. Sorry, almost forgot to show you. Obviously, it's electric tailgate on the CRVs. Just want to show you it's all operating exactly as it should. You can use the key as well to do that and the button inside the car if you so wish, or do it manually by hand. It's so coming into the back of the car, rear door cards in really nice condition. Back of the seats, again, these are susceptible to being kicked by kids, or adults even, shouldn't be kiddest or adultist, whatever you want to call it. Uh, back of the seats, again, really, really nice and clean. Door panel that side again, just as clean. Sorry, the light's not terribly good on that side. Um, footwell areas, full set of Honda mats in the car, and all in really lovely, lovely condition down there tons and tons and tons of rear leg room in the car black leather interior and the leather works in absolutely beautiful condition so coming to the front now driver's door card again as with the rest all in really nice condition footwell area again you can see the complement of uh, honda mats there electric seat again the seats in really really nice condition very very hard wearing these seats on the crvs um, I come across passenger seat you know obviously it doesn't really look as though it's been sat in very often in all honesty it's so crisp and clean if I look up here we've got this lovely big panoramic roof on the CRVs and it's a one piece um, as opposed to the little bar that used to go across them flick of a switch press the switch and the blind comes across all working absolutely perfectly and on daylight today just let the natural light in really really lovely inside the car now engines running as it has been all the way through um, passenger door card again absolutely beautiful just to quickly pan down there show you we've got the full owner's manual packs 
incorporating all the manuals required for the car and the original Honda locking wheel and that key. Dashboard is in absolutely pristine condition. Really lovely dashboards on the CRVs, which I'll talk about more in the following road test video. Um, sat nav, obviously all fully functional on the cars you'd expect. Uh, lovely and easy to use. Obviously pop the car into reverse there. And you've got this lovely crystal clear parking camera as well, which goes alongside the um, parking sensors front and rear. Dual zone climate control system, all working absolutely beautifully. Uh, you can sync those together, do them um, side by side or as, as one. Six speed gearbox lever, gator, absolutely perfect. Heated seats there, all working absolutely beautifully. Uh, check those out earlier, they're all absolutely fine. Obviously power outlet and you've got, you can turn the auto stop uh, function off as well. Cubby hole here, cup holders, you can arrange those as you want. Obviously keyless start on the Honda so you can just put the keys away. Big cubby hole down in the center here. You've got USB, power outlet and your video inputs if you so wish. Coming across to the steering wheel, multifunction steering wheel on the car. So all the functions there, which I explained more fully in the following road test video as well, uh, but all in beautiful, beautiful condition. As you can see there, engine's running, as you can tell by the rev counter, 58,084 miles, no warning lights on the vehicle whatsoever. Um, electric memory seats on the car, you can do it for two settings. And then you've got all the controls for electric windows, wing mirrors, and the electric um, folding mirrors as well. Just to quickly show you those working. They all do. I just like to make sure people know that they actually are. So all in all, we're looking at a car in absolutely fabulous, fabulous condition. Um, what will follow now will be a road test of this very car. Right, this is a road test video for a Honda CRV. This is the 2.2 DTEC EX version. This is the latest type of car. Uh, car's registered FT62KUS and mileage at the start of this brief road test just turned 58,061 miles. The reason we do the road test, as I say on all of them, um, is that we want customers to see the cars in operation prior to coming to see us and it is the very car you've seen in the advert. Um, the video is to pick up on any issues with the vehicle I can, feedback anything I can on the vehicle. I am critical so if there's something wrong with the car I do tell people um, I don't expect there to be, but if there is something, I, I will let you know. Also worth pointing out, the road tests are done on the same roads just outside our premises, uh, so it should be you know, representative of what you'll feel yourself when you come and see and drive the car if you wish to purchase it. Also worth pointing out, of course, that the you know this is um, just after 9 o'clock on Friday, and this is essentially road... Uh, uh, rush hour for us around here it's lovely and quiet any road tests are you know pretty pretty much stress-free you can actually enjoy driving the car and uh, we operated out of Bristol for years and you know as fine as it was as a city road tests were horrendous for customers we knew that and it was you know, it's always stressful driving a new car uh, especially when it's not your own let alone when you're slap bang in city centre traffic not knowing exactly where you want to go here you'll just thoroughly enjoy driving the car starting with the car in terms of i'll go through the mechanicals of the vehicle engine starts absolutely first press of a button obviously it's keyless start on the ex models um, engine settles to a very quiet idle very even very smooth there's no warning lights on the dashboard at all relating to the engine or any other part of the car it's a wonderful wonderful unit they really are um, it was minus one this morning so if it started first turn uh, first press button um, you know instant starters have always been a good starter very economical uh, chain driven engine so there's no horrendous cam belt services scheduled for the car uh, which is a big thing and mechanically you know the toughest of this type of car in, on the marketplace is as simple as that it's reliability record and uh, record for longevity um, it, it murders other manufacturers in all honesty uh, so engines absolutely perfect pulls like a train no strange noises whirrings otherwise not that you get on the later versions anyway clutch on the car smooth 
uh, click and squeak free on the pedal. Again, that's more relevant to the last generation. Doesn't seem to flick these. Uh, bite points, absolutely perfect with the car. And again, bites absolutely beautifully. Much, much, much tougher clutches on these cars than the previous generation ones. Um, clutch then goes through into the gearbox. Classic Honda gearbox, six speed. Wonderfully, wonderfully precise gear change. It really is. Um, it's got a the actuation is short and throw it's easy but it feels mechanical which i really like i hate vague gear changes uh, but this has got a really lovely action to it it's just you know you can do it by the fingertips but it, you know you feel it actually changing gear and there's absolutely nowhere in it at all these are beautifully built cars which means you've got to be careful with you know any one sort of lacking service history just be careful because you know you could be driving a one that's done 150,000 miles and they do drive incredibly well even at those mileages um, but this is absolutely perfect uh, as I'm driving along listening out for noises that shouldn't be there in terms of kind of wind noise you know if someone's accidentally skagged a door seal getting in or out or the it's had a windscreen replaced and not done quite right or the sunroof's not fitted quite right for any particular reason um, but it's all very very quiet and subdued in here drive along car tracks absolutely bullet straight there's no vibrations coming back through the steering wheel um, it's again no play in the steering at all it's just yeah it's, it begs belief really it's just there's, there's nothing there um, suspension beautifully judged suspension on these cars took more about that in a second but um, again what I'm listening out for is kind of noises that emanate from cars which may be sort of been given a bit of a hard life and you might get some sort of uh, suspension struts or drop links and roll bar links that kind of stuff chattering away not necessarily unsafe but horrendously annoying and um, just makes the car feel old and tired really um, but this it's smooth it's quiet it's absolutely spot on um, brake pedal of the car lovely solid pedal there's no pulsing or vibrations coming back through the uh, pedal at all which suggests discs and pads are all in good order they'll be checked as part of its pre-delivery inspection um, but they're all exactly as they should be let's check the cruise control function that's all working absolutely perfectly as well so that's all good uh, pet a to mine are windscreen wipers if they're smearing and they look pretty good to me as well just check the wipe rear one as well again that's all fine so i just i really really hate them when they do smear um so driving the car absolutely brilliant um looking inside the car it's in typically wonderful condition there's not a squeak or a rattle for the interior of the car as you'd expect from honda and their build quality all working beautifully all the plastics and absolutely fantastic order and we've not even validated it yet um it's always a good sign High, lovely sat nav system, dead easy to use. Push button, obviously. Um, obviously, got a hands free telephone system linked to that as well, which is very, very simple to set up. Obviously, pop the car into reverse, and that'll uh, bring up a nice rear parking camera. Every button I pressed on the car, everything's worked exactly as it should. Air conditioning, we even on cold days, we can test it, and that's test that's blowing cold as well. Plenty of pressure in there. Dashboard, lovely, simple design, easy to read temperature gauge at a third which on all Hondas that's exactly where it wants to be auto lights auto wipers all working brilliantly as well um, and then you've got this multifunction steering wheel with your information and audio controls top left um, other information and cruise control top right and the information display controls down here on the bottom right here and you've got your hands-free functions there on the um, bottom left there but all working absolutely brilliantly. Um, the car runs intelligent four-wheel drive, brilliant system. Honda worked out years ago that 90% of customers were never going to use the four-wheel drive to its full extent. And so for 90% of the time, it's been absolutely wasted. It's just churning away, eating up tires, um, adding to your, you know, your fuel, fuel costs as well, but putting strain to the vehicle. Uh, this runs an utterly brilliant system where basically if you start to slip your front wheels or they spin up 
on the ice or wet roads or mud, whatever happens to be, um, it automatically brings in the rear wheel drive and then it automatically disengages them when, when it thinks it's had enough. Um, it works seamlessly, never gives us an ounce of trouble. We've sold thousands of them now and I've had loads. Um, you know, I've, I tow a caravan right to the um, maximum tow limit of one of these, been in wet pitches and it's never got stuck. It's, it's a really, really, really good system. Um, but what sets a car apart, I think really from most manufacturers now, it, it just strikes a really brilliant balance. They're lovely to drive. Um, so it's not like a, you know you jump in a car that's dollars ditch water. It handles really nicely. It corners really flat. It um, you know, it's quiet. It's refined. It's got much more space in it than the vast majority of its competitors. Uh, very clever in the way the seats work and fold and all that kind of stuff as you'd expect again from Honda. Um, but you know it's also got a mechanical and build integrity and level of engineering literally unmatched by the other manufacturers uh, wonderful car uh, it said you know if i could have found fault with the car i would have told you i genuinely can't find anything at all and i've had loads and loads of them my wife's got one of these identical cars uh, and identical color funny enough as well and it drives exactly the same as this one and that's perfect as well um, but if i've missed anything on the video it's not by intensive design you know please do phone me and I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have.